Good guy activism here at City Hall. Um, we're here in Newark, New Jersey. Let's check it out. See how it goes. We're gonna do a freedom check. See how much freedom that people have. No entry. I don't think you can enter in through this way. Do you know how to enter City Hall? Thank you. It's just started to rain. See that with Fourth Amendment violation. Oh, now they give him an ID. So. I don't sign in. You can't go with the Of course I could. Why not? I don't sign in. I don't sign into public buildings. You can't come in, then that's gonna be trespassing. It's not trespassing. What's up, bro? How you doing today? One of the first people you see when you walk in this building. Let's take one of these. I could. I'm free to. You can't, bro. You can't. I you could. Can't. You don't know the rules that's going on, so you can't do that. I know what the law is. Now, you could come over here. He could talk to you, bro. They could. They could come talk nah, to me. you could come over here. I'm okay. You Thank could you. Come over here, bro. Nobody gonna help you in here either. 
Why, why wouldn't they? They're not going to help you. You don't have a visitor tag. I ain't signed you in. No, sir. I'm sorry? I can't hear you. <laughs> why? Hey, how are you? I'm Officer Marquez in our police department. Everything nice to meet you. Recorded. Good, What's going good. on today, sir? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask did, for you. Did you sign in, sir? Why would I need to do that? Because you have to sign in in order to do anything in this building. This is the people's building. I understand, sir. But if you look in the circuits, it's not against the memo, right? I'm not here to enforce I didn't, I policy. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Sir, I'm not here to enforce that policy. It seems like you are. I'm, I'm telling simple. you I'm okay. I don't want to sign sir, in. I just, let me explain this to you. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah. In order for you to be no, in this man. building, okay? What's your name? How are you doing, man? How are you? Sir? Good. In order for you to be in this building, you have to sign in. Please let me finish. If you don't comply with that, that means you're not welcome in this building. If you're not Everybody's welcome, welcome in this building. Sir, listen to me. If you don't sign in, mm -hmm. you're not welcome in this building. If you're not welcome in this building, then you're going to have to go to trespassing laws. Okay? And if you look, please take your Google, take your phone, and see if that's You trespass me for what crime? Very simple, Because sir. you're not going through building security. I did go to security. No. They checked me. You they checked my check your pockets. ID, sir? They check your ID, I don't give IDs to be in public buildings. Well, I'm sorry. You're not giving it to me. I'm not asking for your ID. I'm not giving it my ID just, to nobody. I'm, I'm not telling you. I'm asking I'll sign for in, it. sure, but I'm not but giving my ID. But you have to give your ID to the front desk. If you go to the, any, if you go any federal building, this in is, any is this state a federal building, building, and any city building, they're gonna ask for ID. It's policy, sir. It's policy, sign. sir. I'm not enforcing the policy. If you don't want to give ID, so if you don't want to give your ID, that's totally fine with me. I'm telling you right now, it's fine. Are but if saying, you don't give your ID Are you to saying security, that the public can't come in? The public has to give up their identification yes, to enter the people's building? Yes, that is their policy. And once they, okay. they, they, they also don't give up, show your ID. I, I want to be here anonymously. Once, no, and I have cannot, the, of not, course I can. No, can. Of course I can. You can take out the Google and you can convert. I could be here anonymously. Can you call a supervisor for me, please? Absolutely. Thank you. You're saying the public can't be in a people's building anonymously. That's what you're saying? Yes, That's not I'm true. telling you, if you're not, not complying with their, with their policy, That's not true. then you're not welcome here. That's what I'm calling. I have a right to be in public anonymously, sir. Sir. I have a right Outside, to be in public anonymously. Yeah, of in course. here, there's a policy. Please Google it and please show me no, the circuit court. Okay. I know what the law is. It. No, no. Show me inside case law that shows that you can answer your ID. I'm not trying to enforce a policy. Let me tell you, sir. I'm not trying to enforce a policy. Why don't you come up with case law? Sir. I'm not enforcing it. I'm, I, I can show it. I, I have a Fourth Amendment right, right to be in the public moment that anonymously. You don't, you don't comply with, with the policy of the building, then you're trespassing. That's where, and that's the problem. That's where I step in. You understand? I'm not asking for ID. How am I trespassing if I have a right to be here? Because you didn't comply with security and the protocols of this building. At that point, you're not welcome in this building. I'll just speak to your supervisor. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I'm just telling you how it works, sir. You swore an oath to the Constitution, right? Absolutely. And right. there's a, a law called trespassing that I'm going to I'm not hold. trespassing, sir. I didn't commit a crime. Not, you're not welcome in this building, sir. Everybody's See, welcome here. It's the security people's building. told me that you cannot come through here. This is the people's building, Therefore, sir. Therefore, you're not welcome in this building. Therefore, I'm called. Therefore, you have to be removed. You are okay. breaking like the I law. Like I said, I will sign in, but I'm not giving my ID. Sir, you need to Because I'm here ID. anonymously. That's not my problem. I'm, Listen, not you I'm, not, I'm, I'm not asking you show your ID. Your ID. So prove who you are. I'm, I'm not, I want. I I'm wish to be asking, in the people's sir, building sir, anonymously. I'm, I'm, Do you understand? I have a Fourth Amendment right no, you don't. to be secure. I don't have a Can Fourth Amendment right. Because I know the law. I don't. I don't have a Fourth Amendment right to be yes, in, in public. And, and so why, why you said I don't? To you. What does Fourth Amendment mean to you? What does it mean to you? You swore an oath to it. Search and seizure. I'm not searching. Uh -huh. Nobody's searching. And I'm not asking for ID. Uh -huh. And I'm not seizing. I have a right to be secure in my papers, documents, sir, and effects. Right? Absolutely. Right. And I'm not, so I don't have to get my ID. From prosecuted. You're asking. From people in general, from the government no, in general. No. This is the government, right? Sure. This is the government sir. building, a municipal building. Show me case law. Sir. Right? There's no case law uh, right now. But well, we can make one today, because I'm not giving up my ID to be in a people's building. Sir, this is the people's building. I'm just telling you what's going on. Everybody has a right to be in this building. This is our building. I am telling you what's going on, but you right, have to Right, right. Well, I'll wait till your supervisor comes. I have no problem signing in, but I'm not giving my ID. I'm here anonymously, sir. So. I hope you know that I'm not asking for ID. I'm not stopping you from anything. Uh, you are though. Let's go sign in. I'm not giving my ID though. 
I'm not giving ID. No, you don't have to give ID to enter the people's yes, building. Are you, you crazy? Yes, you do. No, I do not. Yes, you do. Show me case law that says I have to give ID. Show me case law that you don't. All right, then. I don't. <laughs> it's the Fourth Amendment. I'm sorry. Right here is where you check in. Yes. I'm not going out so I could have to get scanned again. Okay. I was already granted access. This is the first time. Uh, you're granted access on the board. Once you comply with security, then you can stay here as long as you like. It's funny how you got Martin Luther King right in the lobby, but you're violating people's rights. It's funny. That's hilarious. I think that's hilarious. One of the first things you see is Martin Luther King right after your Fourth Amendment violation. That's crazy. That's your interpretation. It sure is. It sure is. It sure is, it sure is my interpretation. That's my perception. I never said it was a fact. You want to put a good citizen? What law says I have to show ID? What law? So what are you enforcing? What are you enforcing? You know that you're contradicting yourself? Do you know that? It's policy, but I'm not enforcing policy. That's fine. It's policy law? It's not, right? You keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that you're not enforcing policy. Right. I can, though. I can, though. I'm not showing my ID. I'm not showing my ID. I have a right to be here. How far out is your supervisor? He's not enforcing policy, but he's enforcing. But you got to follow the policy, but I'm not enforcing policy. You hear the contradiction? That's crazy. Isn't that hilarious? He said it's the norm now. It should always be the norm. The First Amendment should always be the norm. This is why we do this. 
to normalize the First Amendment. This one got this thing. You could tell, you could tell he got this thing. He said another one. As soon as he walked in, he said another one. So what law is it that says I have to show ID? I'm gonna explain it again. This is a policy from the city. The moment you don't comply with the policy, you're not welcome in the building. I'm enforcing trespassing. Very different. You say so. So you can just trespass people from public for no crime? That's what you're saying? Is that a crime? We are in Jersey, so, but minus a crime, you can't just trespass somebody from public.
Are you saying that if somebody who's homeless or less fortunate with no ID, they can't come in City Hall and conduct business? In order for you to come here and conduct business, you have That's to... That's what you're saying? I'm not asking for an ID. I want to make that very clear. So it costs money to come into City Hall? Sir, actually, if you look at that, that panel right there, the city provides at least for everyone that's in the resident of the city. Just they do? Right for free? It's a very minimum cost. I'm pretty sure it's the most free. I'm, I'm not saying for free because I don't know for I'm sure. Speaking, I'm speaking, I'm trying to advocate for the homeless Absolutely. right now that don't please, have money. I, I, please, come here. Because if you need ID to enter the city hall, that basically means that you need money to come into city hall. Before University Avenue, mm -hmm. they give out IDs. Now, I don't know how it works in terms of monetary, or obviously these are for, uh, you know, marriage certificate, birth certificates, but they also give out IDs. For free? Uh, I'm not gonna speak on that because I don't know. Okay. But I know the city provides IDs. I'm just letting you know what I know. So is there a policy that has to answer these questions? This is a... This is a question. So if I don't answer those questions, I can't answer? Back in the day, yes. Before they lifted, yes. I'm here I'm here acting as my company and I don't have an ID for my company. Uh for so you can come in the building. Why do you why are you trying to enforce policy? I'm not enforcing the policy. They are. How can they call no, me you because are. you don't want to go through it? So why don't you tell them that I have a Fourth Amendment right to be that in public point, anonymously? That point you're breaking trespassing law, sir. How? What's can you put up? Can you can can you put up the? the you're trying to enforce that law. I'm just telling you, I'm not enforcing the policy. Are you enforcing the trespassing law? I'm asking you ID, sir. So what are we, what are we doing here? Why not tell him that I have a sir, I have a Fourth Amendment right? Where's your supervisor? I'm waiting for him. Okay, I can wait for him here. Absolutely. I'm not asking you to go. You just can't. I don't worry. <clears throat> can you quote the trespassing law for New Jersey? Can you, can you show it to me? You can Google it. I can't, because I don't have internet access. Oh, that's so fortunate, sir. It's very nice. Are you trying to force that law on me right now? If you don't comply, sir, of course, that's the law that's going to happen. So, if my supervisor can, you can So, we don't have a right to be in public anonymously? So, you come in this building.
Do we have a right to be in public anonymously? That's funny. Is the mayor available to speak to? Deputy mayor? Okay. Can you help me do it out here today? I still have the right to receive services, whether I enter or not. I just told you I don't have internet access. I don't understand why our public employees send us online when we're in person. Do you think that's discourteous? I'm not going to speak on that, sir. It is discourteous. I'm not going to speak on that, sir. If I'm in person, why would you send me online? I'm not going to speak on that. Okay. Hello, ma'am. How are you? You asked me a question, I answered your question. Oh, you're feeding us, and he's a feeding us. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. It doesn't look like it's a major problem. Your supervisor's taking their time, so. No, unfortunately, we have a, a meeting that's happening right now, and the supervisor that covers this area is in that meeting. That means okay. we have to, another area, supervisor to come here. So therefore, I don't know where they're on right now. Do you have a paper? A paper so I can write my press pass? Okay. So I can show my press pass? Sorry, you need ID. Company ID. Picture ID. For a company? My company doesn't give picture IDs. That's unfortunate. How's it unfortunate? Because you need ID information. The press isn't allowed in this building? You have a press ID with your That's picture. what I'm saying, give me a, no. Then no. Picture ID. This is ridiculous. Again, they're the ones that told me that. They're the ones that enforce me. Uh, Hi, Hi. I'm grateful. How are you? That's fine. Nice to meet you. Um, I wish to conduct business in the people's building. I'm sorry. I wish to conduct business in this building, and they're saying that I have to show ID. You wish to conduct business? Conduct business conduct in the building. Business. Yes. Okay. Um. In order for you to come in this building, it's actually necessary for you to show ID. It's part of the Why would that be? I'm confused. It's a city building, so just show ID. So everyone who comes in here, you see, have to, everybody has to come through the machines. Everybody has I to did. Come I did that part. Okay, but yeah. And also do the reporting. citizens? Do the citizens have the right to be in public anonymously? Yeah, but this is a this is a building, city hall building. Yes, yeah, the people's of, building. Yeah, yeah, a lot of things that go on in here. So that's why. ID. I, I just want to be anonymous. I just want to conduct business anonymously because I'm a I'm a journalist and I don't want my ID getting out there and I'm scared of retaliation. A lot of things that I do. Ma'am, a lot of things that I do. So like, I ex I do a lot of um, expose things. I expose a lot of stuff. Okay. So when I come do public information requests, I want to do it anonymously because of retaliation. I have a lot of sources. I told him I, I told him I'll sign in, in but I don't want to give ID because well, I want to be here now in the state. You have to do, you have to provide ID, sir. It's part of the requirement. I was trying to ask them um, if, if it was. If you want to call in advance, just let them know who you are. I can sign in as my company name. Yeah, but you have to show. But my company, I don't have, have an ID for my company. So if you're gonna sign in as your company name, you have to sort of show some type of proof of your company. Because you could say I work for X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. But. How do we know you work for X, Y, and Z? You have to show proof of that, sir. That's it. Would I be breaking the law if I if I conduct business anonymously? Well, they're not going to allow you in here. You have to show some proof of ID, sir. Wouldn't I have a right to be here? You do have a right to be here, but it's part of the requirement, okay? Just to show ID. That's all. I don't understand why the people can't be anonymous in their own business. This is the people's building. I understand that. But right, it's so. part of the requirement, sir. Especially you want to come around filming and yeah, conduct journalism. Is... I have to show proof that I'm a journalist. Yeah. Everybody's a journalist. Yeah. yeah, but anybody can say, oh, I'm here to do this. How do we know exactly? That's all. 
you guys would, I mean, you guys would like to know who enters the building for like, you know, if there's a fire or something like that. Yeah, but like, I have a right to be anonymous. Right. So why not uphold my right to be anonymous? I'll give you, a, I'll give you my company name, but I'm not. Ma'am, I don't. I wish to be anonymous. I want to exercise my Fourth Amendment in this building. I just want to go to the city clerk's office and fill a FOIA, and I want to do that anonymously too. Okay, but you. That's funny how I can fill out a FOIA or Oprah. You guys call it Oprah here? Yeah. I can fill out an Oprah, and I don't have to give my name. I can be anonymous, but I have to show my ID. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I'm not asking for ID. I'm not telling you I'm not telling you the city I'm just telling you the city You can't put policy over law. If I break a policy, I'm breaking the law. Since when is it against the law to break a policy? How can I fill out an Oprah anonymously, but I can't enter the building anonymously? Huh? Do I have to show ID to fill out a public records request? Do you understand how? I am, I, and I and I hope that you guys will come and and protect my right to be anonymous in public. Like I said, I'll give you a name. I'll give you. I'll sign in, but I'm not showing ID because I didn't commit a crime. The only way, the only reason why I ever have to show ID is if I'm being proof of what? I don't have to prove who I am in public. Ma'am, Sergeant Becker, I don't have to prove who I am in public. Just for their policy to enter this building, for this building, yes, it's required. So, this is so confusing because... So you said you wanted to do an open form? You said there is a way to do an it. Yes, yes. Would you like me to get maybe a number? I've never, I'm not, I'm not from here. I'm from the Bronx. Okay. So I wanted to come to this beautiful city hall, conduct business, fill out an Oprah, take a look around this beautiful city hall, and be here anonymously, conduct business and be on my way. That's it. I'm not hearing no ill intent, no malicious intent. Policy, sir. Is there maybe a number that I can You can't get? put you policy over the call? Constitution, ma'am. I have a Fourth I Amendment right. That, I have a Fourth Amendment right, right to be in public in? anonymously. Everybody, everybody could be press. Everybody could report in public. I understand that. Right, that's all right. Sergeant, you guys want to protect my right to be anonymous in public. How come you're not protecting that right? You're enforcing a policy over the Constitution right now. Do you know that? Did you know that the government can't, city, local, state, federal, can't make policies or rules that go against the Constitution? It's unconstitutional. I understand that, but it's that's like saying right that's here. like if they had a policy that said no black people. Are you gonna enforce that? But it's policy. Right now, their policy for you to come in. Their if policy is unconstitutional. I have a right to be here show ID. anonymously. Are you show ID? No, is there something that I can maybe give you a phone number for you to come back? No, but you time? can give me an open request. I mean, if you're gonna violate my rights here today, I'm, I just want names and badge numbers. That's it. Okay, yeah. Because you, you swore to protect my right to be anonymous. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I need somebody to write it out for me. I need somebody to write it out for me. Because I'm illiterate, so I can't write. You're not going to help me write because I'm illiterate? Give me one second. 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 Give Yeah, I just need, you guys have business cards? Not a, I don't have a business card, so no, I do not. Would you guys mind writing your names down for me? Not a problem. Thank you. And um, I can fill out an Oprah through City Hall for your body camera, right? Please give me one second, okay? Okay. That's so funny. Thank you. How you put in policy over the Constitution? It's ridiculous. Should we allow them to violate our Fourth Amendment? 
to enter the building. Because next thing you know, see how this is ridiculous They put in pot. Why? Why put policy over the Constitution? I don't understand that. You know what? I think I'm gonna just. Follow. I'm think I'm gonna show my ID. Let's do it. Why not? It's, well, I know why not, but it already exposed this dumbass policy, so it already exposed how the fucking police officer are trying to put policy over the Constitution. So, this is called an over request form. You can actually do this online. This is the instruction that was given to me by the over supervisor. I don't wish to speak to you no more today. Huh? I don't wish to speak to you no more today. Have a good day. Okay. I'll, okay. If you want, Thank I'll, you. I'll try to give you the picture. Have a good day. I want to violate rights. We'll file our complaints. We'll do what we need to do. We'll set up an appointment with the mayor. You want the line to go this way to block the hallway? It's like that concentration camp shit. You gotta stay in line. allow them to violate our fourth amendment right and then we'll fucking go take the necessary steps that we need to do in order to make a change like contact the mayor of newark and if he has to go above their head then we'll do that as well i didn't come all the way out here just to get turned away at the door so it clearly seems like they don't know what the I'm not enforcing policy. I'm not enforcing policy. Yes, you fucking are. And you're not only enforcing it, you're enforcing it over the Constitution, over our rights. I'm gonna do it. Do you know how to go about it, or this is you want to take this form and this is how you do it? I'm gonna do it in person. Well, in order to do it in person, you said their go policy to the city is clerk. this. Their policy is for you to show proof of ID. It's that simple. It's you're gonna show up ID. You're saying you don't have an ID or your job ID. You just have to show ID. They're simple. There's a city policy. You're not gonna be able to do that in person. You guys are already putting policy over law. That's their policy. You, you don't. You guys don't enforce policy. You enforce law. This is their policy, sir. 
in order for you to come in here. It's not against the law to break a policy, ma'am. I'm just telling you know what they have in place. This is their policy. So do you have ID? I'm already allowing you guys to violate my Fourth Amendment. I'm allowing you to violate the Constitution. I, I, I feel like you guys don't really care. You guys didn't swear an oath to policy. You swore an oath to the Constitution. Okay, I'm, I'm going to fill it out in person. I'm, I'm going to write it out and I'm going to submit it in person, which I have the right to do. I have, you say you're going to write your names and badges down for me. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm waiting for, okay? okay. Thank you so much. Here you go. He said I have to show it, I'm not gonna give it. I can't, I cannot see it from that distance. He has glasses on too. City clerk, the building. They think because they don't take my ID physically that you're forcing me to show you my ID. So. One, two, three. Excuse me. Do you have a business card for this office? Uh huh. What's that? That has the information on it? Yep. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.